Hello everybody and welcome. My name is James, driver for Team 107 Robotics and First Updates Now correspondent. And today I'm going to be breaking down Kettering Week 0 PM Match 10 full of great robots, great strategy, even some game piece defense here on Funalysis. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, analysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Starting off, let's take a look at some of the robots we have on these alliances. We have Team 2337, the Engine Nerds, the 2022 FIM State Champions, Team 5050, Cowtown Robotics, and Team 1506 Metal Muscle, a whole five steps from their build site here at Kettering University. Team 3668 on the Red Alliance is the Trobots. 7202 is the Cyber Orioles. And then Blue Bumpers, but on the Red Alliance is Team 7211 Hollywood. Starting off into Autonomous, we have both alliances seemingly mirroring each other with their fast scoring, as all six robots are able to score almost identically to the other alliance, with four game pieces total scored on the high nodes and one each on the lower nodes. We see 7202 and 5050 both going to balance their charging stations. However, 5050 is able to make the difference and engage their charging station, while 2337 and 3668 are both able to gain those mobility points as well. Coming out of Autonomous, Blue will have the lead, and we'll see if they can carry over that lead into Teleop. We see 2337 struggle to acquire a game piece and move on to the next one here in the Autonomous preloads. We'll come back to that game piece later in the match. 3668 starts their fast Mechanum cycles they're going to do throughout the match. Uh, we see that Mechanum drivetrain really work out for them as it's geared for a lot of speed. We see 1506 take similar paths to 3668 as they play similar roles in this match. And we already see an interesting strategic point here from 1506 as 2337 is blocking this right side of the blue community and 5050 is partially blocking the left side. So they choose to go over top of the charging station, cutting down their cycle times. Uh, as well as being less disruptive to the rest of their alliance. I think that at the high level of gameplay with lots of robots cycling, it'll be very important for robots to be able to stably approach and uh, traverse the charging station throughout the match. We'll see both alliances do that throughout this match as a lot of robots are cycling through. We also see engine nerds push 7202 almost towards their own community. I'm not sure if that was defensive or unintentional, but I think it's important for drive teams to be aware of both the red community and the blue loading zone and vice versa. Um, and so they don't get those penalties that we've already been seeing in week zero and early week one matches. Definitely gonna be a lot of controversy with that throughout this year. And we're not entirely sure how it's gonna be called. So it's gonna be important for drive teams to be aware and just avoid those as much as possible. We team, see team 3668 have a similar situation to 1506 and realize that both sides of their community are blocked by their alliance partners, which forces them to go over top of the charging station. Now, you might be a little concerned with their mechanic drivetrain, but they do it like a champ and are able to traverse that charging station no problem. Their, while their mechana may sacrifice pushing power, it definitely does not sacrifice speed or the ability to get over the charging station. And we saw it multiple times throughout the match. However, this is the, the pinnacle of the choke points of this field. This section of the field right here is, has four of the six robots, all in the small section of the field, all close quarters to each other. I think this is going to be a very common theme throughout this year. This is where defense can be played very effectively, as well as just robots running into each other, slowing each other down. And 1506, who's trying to get back to their grid, has a choice. Do they take the risky route and go through the red human player zone? I, Probably not. Do they go all the way around the, the slow option, however, the least disruptive option? Maybe. Or do they attempt to push through and part the Red Sea here of 3668 and 7202? What could be the quickest option? It ends up being the red robots have a little bit of miscommunication and let 1506 through, as then the both red robots take a second to recollect themselves and are back cycling together. Engine Nerds flies through from the double substation all the way to the other side of the field, I'm sure as they develop through the season, they're going to get even faster in those cycle times. We also see Kettering 
kickoff, or Katarina Week 0, sorry, uh, switched to the official scoreboard here half to, halfway through the match. Um, cool to see that uh, in play already. It looks very nice. Interesting point here. We have we saw this earlier. This was the game piece that engineers struggled to pick up in Autonomous. This is the last one left of those eight preloads that are available in Autonomous, and they're looking to get that to score. However, 7211 needs one more game piece here for their lower cone, for their um, lower link. So they're actually going to play a little bit of game, game piece defense here on the engineers and push it away from them while attempting to score it themselves. Engineers gets them in a little bit of gridlock. We'll see whose drivetrain is more powerful. 7211. Driver, kudos to them, does a great job of swerving around Engineers, able to get the cone in the crevice of their robot, and now is here able to score it to complete their fourth link of an alliance. If the Blue Alliance had just gotten two more in the co-op partition grid, that might have been enough to get them that fourth ranking point, or if they had gotten two more and able to get that fifth link, they would have gotten that four RP unicorn match. Here with just 16 seconds left in the match, we see 36-68 goes all the way across the field for another cycle, and there is no red robots on the charging station. That is just unbelievable. They're at risk of losing the match here as Blue is almost able, uh, almost finished completing their triple balance. What is the Red Alliance going to do here? We're going to see here very shortly. We see 7211 swerve up onto the charging station as 3668 speeds back there. However, with just eight seconds left, we see 7211 is tipping it the wrong way for 3668 to get up. What are they going to do? 7211 quickly is able to tip over the charging station as 3668 speeds on. 7202 gets their parking points, and as time has expired and a little bit afterwards, they're able to balance that charging station and secure the match for the Red Alliance. Excellent job by both of these alliance, putting up great scores for a Week Zero event and very competitive strategy that we're going to see develop throughout the year. Take a look at the final score here. We see it was a final score of 114 to Red to 91 in Blue. Great scores. One thing to note with these final scores, the Blue Alliance actually takes the victory in both Autonomous and Endgame. In Week 0 matches, most of the time, if you won those two categories, you won the match. However, the Red Alliance was able to score 65 points here in Teleop. That big of a delta compared to the 28 of the Blue Alliance was able to secure them the match by a handy margin of 23 points. I think we'll see that throughout the year. There is a max score you can score in this game, as well as an autonomous and end game, so that cycling in tally up is going to make the big difference at the highest level of gameplay. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know if you saw anything else in this match or any other matches you'd like us to break down in the comment section below or on our Discord or on Chief Delphi. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James from First Updates Now. Have a great rest of your day. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.